So John 8 and 36 in the Amplified says, So if the Son has set you free, then be unquestionably free. God's been talking to me a lot about freedom and helping me to understand there are levels to freedom. In one sense, we may be free. We may think we're free because physically we don't have any chains on us. But oh my goodness, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, some of us are living in bondage and we don't even realize it. There are some things we can readily point to, maybe in relationships or in our health and things like that. But God wants to uncover the things that are deeper, the things that we don't even recognize because we've been sitting in it so long. In Acts 16, there's a young slave girl who was possessed by a demon who allowed her to fortune tell for her masters. So her bondage was bringing other people success, was bringing other people a profit. And man, sometimes we can be in situations in which our bondage is benefiting someone else. The people around us, they may not want us to come out of that bondage. But see, you've got to fight today to be unquestionably free. This young girl was never even asked to be free. Paul ended up, if you read the story, Paul ends up casting out the demon, but she had never asked for her freedom. And the reason why, maybe she had been sitting in it for so long. Maybe that bondage was so familiar that it was just easier to continue in it. Maybe she didn't realize she was supposed to be free. And so God is reaching out to each one of us today and letting you know you're supposed to be free, unquestionably free. And so reach out into the Holy Spirit today. Ask him to show you some areas where maybe you, uh, you, you haven't realized that there is a higher level of freedom for you. Be unquestionably free. Amen. Bye.